Did you know that you have intuitive gifts? Hi guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Taylor and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the most powerful feminine embodiment practices. So what is feminine embodiment and why is it so important? Feminine embodiment is tapping back into our feminine powers and really flowing with our feminine cycles and learning to love them and nourish ourselves the way we're supposed to. Connecting back with our bodies and honoring ourselves is so incredibly magical and so important. And if you think about it, we are able to birth life into our planet and that's so incredible and that's magic in itself but what makes this so powerful is when we finally wake up to that fire within us to those intuitive gifts that all of us have inside of us all women are highly intuitive whether you know you are or not you are intuitive and you can totally tap into that power and energy at any given moment and did you know that in ancient civilizations the men actually worshipped the women that were on their cycle on their moon time and that's because that the men knew and they believed that the women held these incredible powers and they were highly intuitive during that time. I absolutely love learning stuff like this because I feel like there's so much to be learned from our ancestors and so much wisdom that we can gain from learning about history and connecting with that amazing energy and the spiritual rituals that they had in our ancient societies. So how can you fully tap into this feminine energy and start to embody being a woman? This can also help if there are men watching this too, if you want to tap into your feminine energy, these practices can also really help you connect back with that yin energy and that feminine energy. So number one is tapping into your intuition and fully trusting yourself. What has been really helpful for me lately is starting to trust myself more and listening to myself and knowing that my intuition is just as powerful as anyone else's. You can really start small with this and be aware of when you are getting ready to go somewhere instead of calling your friends and asking what they're gonna wear or if you're out to dinner, stop asking what everyone else is gonna order. Trust yourself and trust that your opinion is the best way to go and to really just tap into your intuition and know that your intuition will start to strengthen as you give her more power and she loves when you give her more power. Number two, this probably won't go for the men that are watching this if there are, but connecting back with your moon time and your moon cycle. Becoming more aware of if your cycle is matching up with the cycles of the moon and really trying to figure out which one it's linking up with. So if your cycle is linked up with the new moon, then that's also called the white moon cycle. Having your moon time with the new moon symbolizes motherhood, fertility, nurturing, and really focusing on the energies that are within you. If your cycle is matched up with the red moon, also called the full moon, this cycle represents growth, creativity, me time. Your energies are more connected outwards and they're more expansive. So I also suggest that during your moon time, you should create a ritual around it, something that works for you and resonates with you. For me, I love drinking tea that has feminine energy around my moon time because this really helps me connect deeper with my womb space and helps ease my cramps and really puts me in a calm state. And some of my favorite teas are red clover, hibiscus, and also raspberry leaf. I also sometimes like to have cacao ceremonies during this time to open my heart up more and to get my blood flowing because we all know that cacao helps get your blood flowing and your blood pumping. So that really helps, you know, stimulate everything and it really boosts your mood and you can really create an amazing ritual around that too. During this time, I also love to meditate and pick oracle cards to really tap into that intuition and listen to what my soul has to say. Connecting back with your intuition really helps you connect back with your feminine nature. Number three is moving your body 
This could be dancing or just moving in a way that feels good for you in that moment. It could be fun and upbeat or it could be slow and sensual movements. It's really up to how you are feeling in that moment and you really just have to flow into it and see how you're feeling. But fully allowing yourself to get in that space really helps you connect back with that feminine energy because you are allowing that life force to flow through you and all that yin energy to be expressed and moved through. So yes, yeah, start dancing, get back into that feminine nature. My fourth and final practice is getting back in nature. If you have seen my Instagram, I'm sure you know that my pictures really have a lot of nature involved and also just me being my full natural self with Mama Earth. For me personally, I feel super connected to our Mother Earth when I am in my natural state of being and I can literally feel her hold me and it's very powerful because the Earth is a feminine energy in itself. So when we connect back with her, it's really powerful and it helps us connect back within the feminine that's inside of us. But to each their own, I'm not saying that you need to be your natural self within nature. You can be fully clothed. Every woman has their own way of feeling empowered and some women feel empowered fully clothed and some women feel empowered fully unclothed. <laughs> so it's really up to how you feel and both ways are absolutely beautiful and they're perfect. So spend more time in nature and really flow back into your natural roots and you will really feel that feminine energy start to rise within you. I really hope you can take some of these practices and bring them into your own life and I also hope that you enjoyed this video and if you feel called please like and subscribe. It really helps my channel and I'm really enjoying with what I'm doing here so I want to continue and I want to continue putting out videos so if you feel called that would mean the world to me but thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.